Hinduism is devil worship. Pray this exorcism prayer to cast out Hindu legions. Let us cast out Hindu legions in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Good day. Let us pray Jesus Christ, the Lord God today, and cast out Hindu legions in this exorcism. For it is written in the Holy Bible, Mark chapter 1, verse 23 to 26. And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit. And he cried out, saying, let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God and Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit saying hold thy peace and come out of him and when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, the unclean spirit came out of him. For the Hindu gods 
are all devils in disguise. It is written in the Holy Bible. Mark chapter 3, verse 14 to 15. And Jesus Christ ordained twelve that they should be with him and that Jesus Christ might send them forth to preach and to have power to heal sicknesses and to cast out devils. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I wear the spiritual armor of Ephesians 6. It is written in the Holy Bible. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 18. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wills of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance, supplication for all saints. Wearing the holy armor of Ephesians 6 by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, 
I destroy the Hindu temples. I break the Hindu gods' satanic ornament. I break the Hindu gods' evil rings. I destroy the Hindu tattoos of hell. I bind the legion demons of Hinduism on the hands and feet with the threefold cord of Ecclesiastes. It is written in the Holy Bible. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 12 and if one prevail against him two shall withstand him and a threefold cord is not quickly broken open wide the gates of heaven and let forth the fire of Elijah to incinerate the legion demons of Hinduism from head to toe. Hindu demons be consumed with the fire of Elijah. Demons of Hinduism be cast out of planet earth. Let my people go. Let humanity rest in the peace of Christ. Let there be light on planet earth. I plead the blood of Jesus on planet earth. I conjure ye, Hindu legion, O oh, devils, unclean spirits, in all parts of the world, to whom power has been given to hurt me, this creature. All you ethereal powers and infernal princes inhabiting within me, this creature of God, of whatsoever quality or condition, you Hindu devils be. From the south part of the world or from any other part of the earth, I exterminate ye from the earth. I bind ye from the fire. I banish ye from the winds, from the water, from the caverns of the rocks. I command ye from the mountains, from the abysses, from hell, and from all places under heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the authority committed to me by Jesus of Nazareth, I charge you Hindu legions to pretend to no farther power of lying or abiding in me, this creature. Therefore I sentence ye by the sentence pronounced by the Most High Creator. I command ye likewise that all fraud, fallacy, and deceit being laid aside ye be bound by angels of God and by the same sentence 
I discharge you out of my body and I send you to the infernal prisons. Therefore depart, accursed Hindu evil spirits, into prison and fire prepared for Satan and the rest of satanic companions. For by the virtue of Jesus Christ, most holy names, by those most holy names themselves, I send ye Hindu legions to the bottom of the abyss. El Elohim Jehovah Sabaoth Adonai Jehovah Emmanuel Jesus Christus Alpha and Omega I send ye Hindu demons to the bottom of the abyss and tie ye up from having any farther power over me this creature of God that you neither possess that place nor any other by virtue of the above mentioned names and by him that sits on the throne in heaven by whose power I condemn ye Hindu legions to the infernal prisons burnings in, in fire, there I bind and chain ye Hindu demons, thus is my judgment. I need God, my church and the Holy Spirit every hour of every day. Righteousness is a better way to live than sin. So I pray the prayer of Saint Francis of Assisi. Lord, make me a channel of thy peace, that where there is hatred, I may bring love that where there is wrong, I may bring the spirit of forgiveness, that where there is discord, I may bring harmony, that where there is error, I may bring truth, that where there is doubt, I may bring faith, that where there is despair, I may bring hope that where there are shadows, I may bring 
light that where there is sadness I may bring joy that where there is drunkenness I may bring sobriety Lord Grant that I may see rather to comfort than to be comforted, to understand than to be understood, to love than to be loved for it is by self forgetting that one finds it is by forgiving that one is forgiven it is by dying that one awakens to eternal life. It is written in the Holy Bible. Matthew chapter 5 verse 5 to 13. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues. And in the corners of the street that they may be seen of man. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward but thou when thou prayest enter into thy closet and when thou hast shut thy door pray to thy father which is in secret and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly but when ye pray Use not vain repetitions as the heathen do. For they think that they shall be heard of their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask of him after this manner Therefore, pray ye.
our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever Amen. In God's holy name, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and power is God's. Emmanuel, God with us, Almighty Savior, forever and ever. God, you are adequate for every need. Jesus Christ, your name is powerful and your power is great. So it is in your excellent name that I pray and believe. By Jesus Christ's mighty blood, I pray. Amen and Amen.